Hello, my name is Patty, and welcome to my 2021 Extreme Spring Clean with me. I post lots of cleaning motivation and organizing on this channel, as well as day in the lives, grocery hauls, and most recently, I shared that we are expecting our second baby. So I plan on filming lots of pregnancy and baby-related content as well. So if you are into that, I would love for you to click the red subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on any future content. But without further ado, let's get into this extreme spring cleaning. Today we are starting out in the kitchen because it is the biggest disaster zone. I really want to give these counters a good clean, but first I need to attack all of these dishes. For anyone that's new tuning into this video, we don't own a dishwasher, so if we don't stay on top of washing all the dishes, it can get out of hand pretty fast. I'm going to try to speed through this as much as I can because there will definitely be multiple loads. I understand this is a lot of dishes that have piled up over multiple days, but I shared on my Instagram that I recently went back to school, so it took me a good week to figure out my new schedule fitting in homework, cleaning, and family time. Hence why the dishes piled up as bad as they did. Life can be torn up, but why couldn't I simply see that I was Just when the dishes in the sink start to dwindle, let's just add a bunch more in because who doesn't love hand washing dishes? <laughs> I also wanna give the silverware drawer a good clean, so let's just dump all that in the sink as well. I recently bought a few drawer organizers from Target, so all the other drawers were pretty clean and organized. Otherwise, I would suggest for a good spring clean to wipe all of them out as well. a year I like to give the cabinets a good wipe down with a multi-purpose spray. You'd be surprised at all the food, fingerprints, and possibly crayon that builds up on them. I started out with this Everspring multi-purpose spray, but you'll see throughout this video I use a variety of different cleaners. I've gotten to the point where I'm just using up everything I have. I had so many cleaners that were almost empty and just taking up space. I don't need four or five half-used multi-purpose sprays. That's just not necessary. You're not going to see any laundry motivation in this video because I plan on filming a 2021 laundry spring clean with me where I wash all the bedding and give all the linens a good refresh. I might even give the bedrooms a good clean and vacuum the carpet up there just so everything feels really fresh and clean for spring. So if you would love that, let me know down in the comments.
Not sure if you noticed, but if I leave dishes out to dry on the countertop, I like to go back about five to 10 minutes and flip them all over. If I don't, the cups or bowls won't dry properly. Now that everything is all dry, I can get it all put away so I can start up another round of dishes. I would love to know down in the comments if any of you love doing the dishes. And if you do, please tell me your secret to loving dishes because it is hands down my least favorite task, if you couldn't tell. I had about a week's worth of dirty dishes on my counter and in the sink. Feeling you'd come back and save me from all those lonely nights and heartbreaks. And now that I've finished the second round of dishes, I need to start wiping down the upper cabinets. Does anyone else find that the upper cabinets around the stove get unbelievably sticky from all the grease? What is the best way to clean this? Because regular multi-purpose sprays don't do the trick. It doesn't break up the months of set and grease. If you have a favorite spray you use on these greasy cabinets, let me know down in the comments. Why don't we go back to Honestly, I'm open wide I don't feel like waking up without you by my side I still see your silhouette Why don't we go back to Why don't we go back to Your bedroom For a good spring clean, I like to give the microwave a good wipe down. Because ours is so high up, I find I don't clean it out as often as I should, but luckily ours doesn't get too messy, so everything wiped away pretty easily. And I'm just pointless without you. Why don't we go back to, why don't we go back to, never wanted to end things like we did, I'm sorry. to all my new friends tuning into today's extreme spring clean with me. I would love to get to know you, so let me know if you're new down below and we can chat a little. I love talking to you guys in the comments. I post weekly videos on cleaning motivation, motherhood, and day in the life vlogs, so if you enjoy that type of content, feel free to click the subscribe button down below. I am also in my second trimester, so I will be posting some content on my pregnancy and some nest with me cleaning videos. I am super excited about those. I've been planning them. Our spare bedroom is a complete disaster, so you won't see that in any regular cleaning video anytime soon. <laughs> so if you have any video requests, make sure to leave those down in the comments below. I love making videos that you guys request. Moving on to day two of cleaning, I need to finish cleaning the upper cabinets and I also decided to finally take down this Christmas garland. I honestly forgot it was up here so I will have to just shove it in a garbage bag to store and then hopefully next year I will get a storage bin to put it in. You take my stuff you never meet, yeah. I think I need a minute to figure out my limits. You cost them more than once, yeah. You take my love for granted. We keep on talking from body to body, yeah. Getting closer to just being
now on to my third and final round of dishes. We did wash dishes in between filming days, but you'll notice a good portion of the dishes are silverware. We have this massive sink, so all the silverware just ends up buried underneath the mess. I also extra hate washing the silverware, so I usually save them for the very end anyways. My fingers literally look like raisins right now. It has been days, but I can finally see the bottom of my sink and I am so excited to give it a good scrub. There is nothing more satisfying than a clean, sparkling sink. Do you agree? Nothing more to say, let's just waste away. One more time is all we need. A bit of truth to face, not that innocent. We know what we did. I'm a sucker for your love. I'm actually really excited to clean off this stovetop. I hate seeing all the little crumbs and spill marks. I find it to be the grossest thing ever. I found the best hack to picking up all those crumbs is to use the little attachment that came with my Dyson and just vacuum them all up. Then I usually like to go in with a degreasing spray, but I've been out for quite some time, so I'm just going to be using a multi-purpose spray. Let me know what your favorite degreaser is down below so I can pick it up at the store the next time I go, because there were still a few stubborn baked on stains when I was done.
find the remedy Or would you stay with me now Till the morning light Before you turn away I'm just going around to all the windows and wiping them down with some glass cleaner the best I can. This one in the kitchen doesn't fold down so it makes it impossible to clean the outside and it's a little too high outside for me to reach unless I had a ladder and that's not happening. <laughs> Also, I'm trying to finish up this Method glass cleaner because the Mrs. Myers glass cleaner is where it's at. If you haven't tried it yet, you need to. The way I like to do the floors is in sections. I will clear out a space the best I can. Then I will go back in with the vacuum and suck up all the crumbs. And to finish it, I will give the floors a good mopping. If I want a really good scrubbing of the floors, I will mop them by hand with a towel or a sponge. But this pregnant mama won't be doing that anytime soon. I'm just too weak, maybe I'm just afraid of being alone. Well, I don't care, cause right now I feel the love that we to mop the floors, I will be using my tried and true pine cell cleaner, hands down my favorite cleaner to use on the wood floors. I do need your help with mops though. I've had this mop forever and it's just gotten really grimy and disgusting, but I can't take the mop head off to clean it or replace it. So let me know down in the comments what your favorite mop is. I just need something I can take off and clean or replace when it gets all dirty. Stay with me. I usually have a basket in this corner to throw all of the dirty cleaning cloths in, but I was using it somewhere else in the house, so they all just ended up on the floor. Honestly, I just need a better system in this corner for our trash and the little bits of laundry that pile up, but I have no good ideas right now, so if you have any comments, please let me know. When you were leaving, I need you even more than I did before. You had the last word when you walked up the door. You drive me crazy, I want you to stay here Now I'm here alone I hate this party and I don't know anyone We get drunk and we fight but I forgive you although You drive me crazy, I want you to stay here You'll be the death of me still, you're my medicine Yeah sure if my camera is picking it up that well, but some of our molding and baseboards had gotten really gross. I don't even know where all these spots came from. I'm just taking a sponge, a dry towel, and some of that pine salt solution and wiping it all off. It's honestly a good idea overall to give the baseboards a good spring clean. They do get dusty over time and your vacuum or mop never quite picks it up.
I'm not sure if the footage is on my missing SD card or if it somehow got deleted, but I did give the living room a good vacuum and mopped as well. Now that the floors are all clean, I can put all the furniture back where it belongs. <laughs> into my life such a magic feeling we tore down my walls i wish i could go back to right before you told me i try to change it all but look at us now i could have gone so far it hurts to realize we're parted yeah look at us now this is who we are and I just know things will never be the same We're like strangers again, again, again Strangers again, again, again We're like strangers again, again, again I just know things will never be the same We're like strangers again At this point, I finally feel like things are starting to come together. I am putting the last round of clean dishes away, and then I can give these counters a good wipe down. Look at us now, could have gone so far. It hurts to realize we're parted. Yeah, look at us now, this is who we are. And I just know things will never be the same. Like strangers again, again, again. Strangers again, again, again. Like strangers again, again, again. I just know things will never be the same. Like strangers again. I am using an all purpose spray on the backsplash and a daily granite cleaner on the countertop. It seems a little excessive, but I do want to make sure I'm taking care of the granite countertops. I don't want to destroy them. They are very nice. <laughs> now that we parted, I better get started. It's time to get my head up again. You said that you had to. I'll try to forget you. Just didn't think we'd end up this way. Like strangers again.
It's a little later now, so I need to vacuum and mop the kitchen floors. I like to wait until after I give the kitchen a good clean because I usually wipe all the crumbs from the counters onto the floors because I know I'm going to go right back in and vacuum it all up.